Welcome, Badass Manifester. I am so glad you are here. I'm your host and head coach, Ashley Gordon, master mindset and manifestation biz expert, founder of the Quantum Coaching Certification, and multiple six-figure entrepreneur obsessed with empowering you to create quantum leaps in your energy, your life, and your business. This is the show to help you make magic your everyday normal, where the ripple effect is real and the guest experts are world class. My mission is to power your conscious and subconscious mind with manifestation teachings, business tools, and coaching techniques to put your potential into action. Consider this your weekly up level. Are you ready for quantum transformation? Let's do this. Welcome back, Badass Manifester, to another episode with me, yours truly, AG. So here we go. Today, we are going to do a quick and dirty episode on how you cannot be cock-blocked from the quantum field. You just can't be. You actually cannot be. So we're going to dive deep into that. And before we do, I just want to remind you, the savings list period is open for one more week. That's it. You want to save up to $1,500 on your QCA tuition? Now is the time to apply and book your call with my team. And I just want to remind you that QCA is for brand new coaches and coaches that want to take it to another level, okay? I have had some best friends who have million dollar businesses go through QCA who have said, wow, I've never had a formal coach training. I feel so much more confident, competent to be able to hold people through whatever it is that they they are going through, that they're moving through, through their trauma, through whatever, whatever comes up. Being able and having the skill set to coach anyone on anything is not for a certain level of coaching right? It's for all levels. We all need to be masterful at that if this is our thing, if this is our jam. And if you already feel like you're a confident coach, if you already feel like you've got it going on in the coaching department, what will happen to your skill set and for your clients if you were committed to taking it to another level, to be on another level? You ever get coached by someone and you're like, holy shit, they are on another level? And I've been coached by people that have multi-million dollar businesses and I've been like, nah, that ain't it, right? Like someone tried to coach me that I looked up to and admired and I'm like, oh my God, this, this is terrible coaching, right? But imagine actually being that fucking good, right? Being on that frequency, on that level to be able to guide someone, like they already think you're on that level, but actually for you to be on another level of coaching and facilitation and artistry within your coaching is so potent and so powerful. And so I want to invite you to apply and get and get on a call with myself or my team to see if this is the right fit for you, whether you're brand new or you want to take things to another level because you are on another level. So it's time to take things to another level, isn't it? I think so too. So let's get into it. Savings list period ends like the end of this week. That's it. It's done. Bye-bye. We only do this twice a year. Two weeks. This is your chance. Okay. So let's talk about how you actually cannot cock block yourself from the quantum field. You know why? Because you're in the quantum field. You are the fucking quantum field. You can't cock block yourself from the quantum field. And in QCA, we teach our, our... our students, quantum coaching. Quantum coaching is being able to coach someone in the quantum field, being able to see them in every single possible potential reality and holding that vision for them and with them, maybe even before they can see it fully and embody it fully themselves. And the same thing for you. It's no different for you. So, <clears throat> No matter how stuck you might feel right now, no matter how blocked you may feel, you have to wake up right now, hear my words, and know you are in the quantum field right now. You are in the field of unlimited possibilities. And when life is lifing, we forget, y'all. We forget. And when we're coaching our clients, they forget too. And so it's our job as coaches and healers and facilitators, but also as humans, to remind ourselves and our clients that right now, 
We are in the quantum field, all of us. We are in the field where anything is possible. Any potential reality is possible. And I believe, and I've said this before, that every single potential reality already exists. And so the reality between you and your dream, it's it's like next to you, right? Like it's so close to you. And the way to be a powerful manifester, the way to call it in, number one, especially when you're feeling stuck, is to just simply remember, I am in the quantum field right now where everything is possible. Sometimes we have to simply remind ourselves of the possibilities that surround us. And that's also our job as coaches is helping our clients see different possibilities that they might not be privy to or that they might not forget. Because here's the thing. Our subconscious mind is taking in 2.3 million bits of information per second. There's so much information we're taking in right now that we're only consciously aware of 126 bits of it. And that 126 bits is the frame that we're looking through right now. That's the frame of reality that we currently see based on our state, based on our mood, based on where we are, our language, based on our belief systems, our thought patterns, our identity, right? It's coloring our perception of reality in that 126 bits that we're consciously aware of in this moment. And so if we are only aware, we're like boxed into this 126 bits, we have to step out of the box and see all the other bits of information and reality that are available to us. There's always more available to us than meets the eye. That's why when I come up against a, a challenge or a problem or something that feels sticky, I have to remind myself I'm in the field of unlimited possibilities and anything is possible. When something doesn't seem like it's about to work out the way that I want it to, I still hold out the possibility for this or something better, right? I trust the process of life. Number two, I've said this before, I lean into the feeling that comes up when things don't go my way, right? So It's really powerful for you to lean into the disappointment that's right here. Oh, I feel so disappointed. Like be disappointed. Allow disappointment to take shape in your body. Or if you're frustrated, be frustrated. Like allow that frustration to take shape, take form. It wants to move. The energy wants to move. So giving it a vehicle to move in, whether you move or you scream or you tone or you do something to shake up the energy. But the same thing goes for your clients, coaching your clients in the quantum field having them lean into those emotions and you being able to help guide them through that is so powerful, right? You being at a level of space holding where you can hold your clients through their disappointment. You don't have to fix their disappointments. You don't have to fix their frustrations. You get to help them move the energy of it. Same thing for you. It's always a parallel process. Whatever I'm telling you, you can also work with your clients on. If you're a coach, you want to be a better space holder, this is the this is like the next level, but it's not just for clients. It's also for the people in your life. If you can help them do that, you're going to be less exhausted in those relationships that feel draining to you because you're always trying to fix them or try and solve their problems or telling them what you think is best for them. All that is so like so old earth. <laughs> like that is so old earth. It's so not new earth, right? It's so not where we're headed as a society, as a humanity, as a race and like human race. And I just, I can't express it enough. Like allowing yourself and others to lean into the energy that's present to them allows them to release the energy. Okay. So how you actually can't cock block yourself. Let's just recap. Number one, realize you're in the fucking quantum field right now. Realize that anything is possible right now. What do you want? Number two, lean into any feelings of disappointment Number three, are you ready for number three? Number three is I want you to decide what you want. And I know it's such a broad thing to say. Oh, come on. Like decide what you want. But like no, decide what you want, whether it's a sensation, a feeling. What do you want to tap into right now? Decide what you want. And what I mean by that is if right now, I want to feel possibility. Universe, thank you for helping me feel possibility. Be grateful in advance for it. I want to feel that energy of magnetism. I want to feel the energy of abundance. I want to feel the energy of X, Y, and Z. Like lean into the sensation and the feeling of it. Or you could say, I want to feel like someone in my life cares about me. 
I want to feel support. Lean into that feeling. So just like the negative feelings of like the resistance that comes up, I'm telling you to lean into them. I'm also telling you to lean into the good feelings. Decide what you want. So whatever you don't want, you lean into. And whatever you do want, you lean into. Are you tracking with me? Whatever you don't want, you lean into. Whatever you do want, you lean, you lean into. And I think that that's like a foreign concept for a lot of people because it's like, well, I can't lean into fully feeling support because I don't have that support in my life yet. No, no, no. You have the ability to feel support right now from yourself. I am supported and feel the energy of support. What does it feel like? What, is the, what does it feel like to be in a chair that supports you? What does it feel like to be supported by the ground? Right? There's support all around us. What does it feel like to be supported by the house that you're in or the apartment that you're in or the car that you're in? You've got, you've got to access what's available to you and you take advantage of what's in front of you to create from right where you are. You're meeting yourself where you are in your creation. You're meeting yourself where you are in the quantum field to take it to another level where if you can start to cultivate those feelings of support, cultivate those feelings of being a powerful creator, claiming I am a powerful creator. Show me my power, universe. Thank you for helping me see my power. The quantum field is going to drop you into reality where a situation happens and someone helps you see your power. When you shift realities in the quantum field, it doesn't feel like you're shifting realities. It feels like the next logical step. It feels so normal. It feels so real. It feels so smooth. It's such a smooth transition that you almost miss it because you're like not really noticing. Like you think, I think when we are thinking about the quantum, we want to overcomplicate it. But really, it just is. It just is the way life is, right? You've heard me say this before. And so when we think about the quantum, we think about leaping into this whole other life, this whole other version of ourselves. But quantum leaps come from quantum shifts. And I tell this to my clients all the time, our students with their clients when they're coaching someone, quantum shifts, helping your client have a shift in awareness, a shift in perspective, a little shift here, a little shift there. There's no... um, There's no such thing as a little shift. A shift is a shift is a shift, right? Having those shifts one one at a time and sometimes they compound, but when they do compound, that's when the leaps happen. But it starts with a shift. I didn't think of it that way. Oh, that feels good. Okay, yeah, I can be open to that and then you're open to that and then something comes into your reality. You're literally shifting realities. Reality shifting happens so, so, so rapidly that it's like, think about those old school cartoons, where, the way they used to make cartoons where every single thing was a picture and then they like the cartoon books where you would flash the books really quick and you would see the cartoon happening and moving. That's how the quantum field is. It's all so fast, but it's all these different pictures and snapshots of reality that string together. And so you can't actually tell when something is different unless you actually are looking for it. But the reality of the reality is that we're always quantum shifting. We're always quantum leaping. We're always shifting in and out of realities. And that's why it's so important to say like, thank you for the highest timeline, for the highest good of everyone involved, right? We're always saying that prayer, this or something better for the highest good of everyone involved, myself included, right? And always praying for the highest timeline for your for yourself and the thing about that is like a lot of times when people step into something like becoming a coach or for me I was so afraid to be seen I was so afraid to be to be rejected that I didn't put myself out there for a long time even when I started this podcast it was just so scary I didn't know what people would think of me I didn't know how my voice would sound. I didn't know what to expect but I leaned into the fear And I leaned into the desire, as I talked about earlier, of impacting millions of people. And because I did both, that is the reality that has been created. And it's so powerful to reflect and to look back at your journey and realize 
all those little quantum shifts that you've made led you to this moment. And I can almost guarantee that where you are today, you've prayed for. Where you are today, you manifested. You created who you are, where you are, all the all the amazing experiences you've had up until this point. And I want you to look back, whether you think your past was good or bad or indifferent, it doesn't matter. I want you to look back and be so fucking proud of yourself. Be so proud of yourself because you fucking did it. And you're and you're just getting started. And you're just getting started. So I just wanted to drop in with this reminder that you cannot cock block yourself from the quantum field. And let's not overcomplicate what the quantum field is and manifesting in the quantum fields. You are the fucking quantum field. You are the quantum person that you came here to be because you are shifting in and out of realities all the live long day. All the live long day. And when you can embrace that part of yourself and realize that manifestation and the quantum field and all of this, it's not separate from you. It's not separate from you, right? We're all made from the same fabric of the universe. Remember I told you, you are the universe, right? You know this. Nothing is separate from you. And when you can realize that everything is one and you are one and you already are the version of yourself that you want to be, it becomes a lot easier to attract what you want. A lot easier. So that is my message for you on this beautiful day. And I am so grateful. I'm so grateful for you. I'm so grateful for you listening. I'm so grateful for you being here. I'm so grateful for you sharing this podcast. If you've ever shared an episode with a friend, it means the world to me. Like if you take this episode or any episode that resonated with you and send it to one person, you're part of this massive ripple effect. And I'm so grateful. And I challenge you to do that today. Like spread joy, spread love, and share this episode or one of my episodes with someone in your life. They may or may not listen to it, but you're extending an invitation to them to tap into their power because that's what we're about here. Tapping into our power, becoming all that we can be in this life, and of course, sharing that. Rise and shine right? Rise and motherfucking shine. Let's go. Again, reminder, get on the savings list. Sign up for the savings list. You'll be prompted to apply early to get up to $1,500 off of QCA tuition. This is for the January 2025 cohort. It's going to be freaking amazing if you're ready to be on another level in your coaching, if you're ready to step into your power in a big way. This is just as much of a transformational program as it is a coaching program. It's such a parallel process. You will become a new version of yourself inside of QCA. You will learn skills that you will use for the rest of your life, whether you're someone who wants to coach or someone who just wants to be like master of their reality. So join us, join us, join us, and I will be hosting a brand new live event coming up very, very soon. It'll be my live free event and I've never taught this event before, so look out for that soon. And I'm sending you massive love, massive abundance, and massive remembering that you are such a fucking powerhouse. Until next time, keep being the badass creator of your life. Woo! We did some work today. Thank you so much for listening. You know I love my BAM fam. If this episode resonated with you, please share it with someone who you know would love it too because we live for the ripple effect over here. And how can you best support the show? Make sure you're subscribed, hit the five stars, and leave a review on iTunes and let me know how the podcast has impacted you. I love being part of your real-time journey, so screenshot the episode and tag me and my guests on Instagram at manifestwithash. Now say it with me. I am my own power source. I am the master of my own energy and I deserve everything that I desire. We don't just talk about it over here. We be about it. Now go get them.